viewers to another episode on ASUG 12 exams. So in this episode we continue looking at the November 2022 science paper 1. So in the previous episode we covered question B6. So let us look at B7. Figure B7.1 shows a graph of voltage V against the time T when charging a phone battery. So we have uh, the graph here we have uh, basically the time in hours then we have here the voltage uh, in uh, basically volts. Question A Roman number one what was the voltage in the phone at the start of uh, charging? So basically at the start of charging at uh, the period zero this was uh, basically the voltage which is at uh, 2 volts. So basically it's in 2 volts. Then uh, we move to uh, the next question. How long did it take the phone to reach full charge? So basically uh, let us go to the graph and see. So you notice that uh, basically from uh, this point going forward uh, the graph is uh, flat meaning uh, the voltage is uh, not changing and this is the halfway between 8 and D 10 so this should be 90 basically so at this point and this is uh, basically halfway between uh, 3 hours and D 4 hours so we are halfway here so the question is uh, how long did it take uh, for the phone to get a uh, full charge so this is uh, the time it took which is uh, which is uh, 3 hours 30 minutes. That's uh, basically how long it took. So when we come here, we are going to say uh, basically uh, is a 3.5 hours or 3 hours and 30 minutes. Then uh, Loman numero 3, what was the maximum charge voltage? So basically we've already found this one. This is uh, basically the 90 volts. So here you see 9 volts. B, if the working current of the phone is 0 0.6 amps, Calculate the Loma numero 1 charge accumulated by the phone in 2 hours. So basically uh, the relationship between the charge which is uh, measured in coulombs is uh, given by uh, this. So um, you have current then time then uh, this is uh, the charge in coulombs. So to find the charge we just multiply the current uh, with time. So basically uh, Q is equal to current which is uh, basically in amps multiplied by a time which is in seconds. So what is the current? The current is uh, 0 0.6 which is in amps then multiplied by time but the time is in, in hours but it's supposed to be in seconds. So how many minutes are in an hour? So we have 60 minutes. Then how many seconds are in uh, one minute? We have uh, 60. So at this point, we just now start expanding. So 0 0.6 multiplied by uh, 2 times uh, basically uh, 60 times uh, 60. We are going to get uh, basically 7200. Then uh, basically you multiply uh, basically at this point you are going to end up with um, 4 1320 uh, basically uh, coulombs as uh, basically the accumulated the charge. Then uh, Loma numeral 2 calculate the power of the phone when fully charged. So uh, how do we find a uh, basically power? So power is given by uh, basically uh, the potential difference which is in volts then multiply by uh, the current in amps. So uh, once you do that you know that uh, it's just a matter of substituting. So what is the voltage when the phone is fully charged? 
so when the phone is fully charged we said this is uh, basically 9 volts then uh, we've been given the current which is uh, basically 0 0.6 uh, so we have 9 multiplied by uh, 0 0.6 uh, so when we multiply these two we are going to end up with uh, basically uh, 5.4 uh, basically a uh, joules per second which is also known as 5.4 uh, watts so basically uh, this is uh, the answer so basically this is how you answer a uh, question 7 to get the 60 max thank you viewers for watching uh, this uh, episode if you find this video to be helpful please uh, consider liking and also, if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. By liking, subscribing, and sharing, you are going to help us improve our visibility. A simple like from you makes a big difference. So once you subscribe to our channel and go to our channel, we discover that we've got so much content. So we've got a mathematics a based a revision questions, we've got a physics, we've got a chemistry, then we've got also topic based a section for all the subjects. And this is the best section for you if you're having any challenges in any particular topic.